According to a recent study, women spend an average of 25 minutes a day putting on their makeup. But what if I told you that many of you have been applying it all wrong? Well, here, I, yep. I spotted a few of you. No, I'm kidding you. Here to show us how to correct our biggest mistakes is celebrity makeup artist, Mally Roncal. Hey, Mally. common problem. We have some women here today who think they know how to apply their makeup, but do they really? Let's see our first gal. Her name is Rachel. Take a look at this. Ever since I was about 10 or 11, I began to notice the puffiness under my eyes mixed with a little bit of dark circles. I usually begin with a quick eye serum and then I apply concealer in a semicircular motion very close to the lash line under my eyes and it's just not working. I really need some tips on trying to figure out how to eliminate the dark circles and the puffiness under my eyes. All right. Mally, what do you suggest for Rachel? What should she do? Well, here's the problem. Again, I get that. Everybody always takes their concealer, puts it underneath right. their eyes, right? But the thing is, you end up getting that reverse panda effect. So you're actually getting white under the eyes, which is actually worse because it looks like you're wearing makeup. So here's a secret that we're going to do. Instead of going in just that half moon circle, you're going to actually take a triangle shape. But let it come down ever so slightly. What that's going to do is it's going to brighten up the whole entire area. You're going to blend it out, obviously. Don't leave it like that. <laughs> but look how beautiful and brightened yeah. her entire face looks. It's a big difference. Big, big difference. difference. So one little quick change in your application. Triangle instead of half moon. That's the way okay. to do it. Okay. Rachel, you look gorgeous. We're going to move on <laughs> to Kim. Take a look at how she applies her makeup. There are two things I won't leave my house without sunscreen and mascara. And I like to pump the mascara brush to get as much on the brush as possible, and also to make sure that my tube of mascara will last as long as possible. Is that correct? All right, now I do exactly the same thing that Kim does. A bad idea. There is so much wrong with that. Everything is wrong with that. Okay, first of all, by pumping it, right, you think you're getting more product. Yeah. No, well, you're actually putting air into the tube, which is adding bacteria, oh. which is yucky and not only that you are drying it out even faster so what I want you to do is when you open up your wand you're gonna take it and do a little wiggle you see that then when you pull it out you've got the product on another quick thing that I noticed when you were applying because I was watching you <laughs> is you were taking your mascara and pulling it out towards your ear that's actually closing your eye and making it look smaller so here's a little tip. Look down for me. When you're putting your mascara on, guys, I want you to take it and push it in the opposite direction, in towards the bridge of your nose. What that's going to do is, believe it or not, you're like, wait, that looks weird. Yeah. Wait, look what happens when you open up your eye. Hello, standing straight wow. up. So you look like you had eight hours of sleep. Exactly. So you use your mascara and you get an eye lift in one All quick right. sweep. You look gorgeous, Kim. Thank you very much. All right, next up. Alana, let's watch her tape. Ever since I started applying makeup on my own, I always thought that when applying foundation, I should go in these upward strokes from like the bottom of my cheekbones, like my lip area, all the way up to my eyes. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, Molly. Yeah. What do you think? Is she doing it wrong a lot? Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, I get you're blending up because it's all about gravity, right? right. You want to, everything's falling here, there, everywhere. You <laughs> need to pull everything up. But the secret is this. Some people have peach fuzz on their face or they have, you know, um, you know, the hairs that grow. You need to take it and blend down. That said, not too much pulling in either direction. Not up, not down. Our skin, as you know, the more you move it around, the more wrinkly she gets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, not you, though. You're perfect. <laughs> but what you want to do then is when you're blending, gentle, gentle. Treat it like okay. a baby. All right, gorgeous. Alana, thank you so much. Finally, we'll see our last gal, and that's Katie. Typically, when I have a breakout or something on my face that I want to cover up, I end up using my under eye concealer. And right now, I'm trying to cover the scar I have underneath my eye, but it tends to disappear really quick, quickly. And I'm wondering if there's a way I can cover it up with some other products. All right, she wants other products. What can she use? Okay, well, number one, you're using your under eye concealer 
to cover up a pimple or a zit or a scar, that's not a good idea because you're using under eye concealer to brighten. You need this to match your skin tone exactly. So that you need two different concealers, sorry to tell you. One to cover up underneath your eye and one that matches your skin exactly for, for any blemishes or any dramas you want to so cover. So she was actually highlighting exactly. it instead of, okay. Exactly, you are bringing it forward. So here's another secret. When you blend and you cover just like so, instead of using a powder that's gonna brighten and lift, you want to use maybe a powder foundation. That's a little bit darker that's okay. going to match the skin exactly or even better, if you have something clear that's going to mattify the skin and set the makeup just like so, that's better because you really won't see anything. And it's gone! What is that stuff that you This just... is called Face Defender and it's a clear balm that mattifies the skin and sets all the wow. makeup and that way you know you're not going to see it. Well, you're gorgeous, but I think your scar adds character, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thanks to Mally and all of our models for being here.